right, morning day two. A little frosty in the back. And I don't think we left anything in the room because this back seat is completely full of the stuff. We'll get a coffee before we start. We're gonna go to the same spot this morning and hopefully my Clydesdale is good shape for uh, dragging us back out again. All right, this is what's going on already is we just got set up. I was taking some beautiful sunrise photos of North Dakota and I put my phone right here on my striker bag and I saw a mark in a fish. So I need a lure, open this up and my phone went right there. So you can tell I'm really impressed right now with myself. I have yet to tell my wife. I'm probably dreading that more. It's got me, it's giving me a little bit of a belly ache. So if we can get the fish, I'll probably feel a little better. So I'll tell her that and then tell her I lost my phone. Bob Runder? No bait though. Yeah? Oh yeah. He's got it, doesn't he? Good one? Just a little guy. He's, ta he's taking it, hasn't he? Come on, catch something on the tip up. It's always a moment of truth was when you set that hook. Yeah? Not much weight there. You just broke them though, didn't you? Okay, new update on how the day is going. We've missed our fourth fish and we ran out of propane. So, drop phone in the hole, no propane. Uh, probably gonna be cold cheese sandwiches and no fish so far. Not going so hard. Get him on the ice. Not very big. I don't care. Oh yeah, he's nice. Finally something for the day. Yeah, he came right up off the bottom. I saw him and then also you put your rod down, like what are you doing? You know, for dead stick. I see I just seen the ripples in the water. Hooks, so. oh. Here's a good one. Don't cut yourself. I won't. When it comes up, get a real close up out the hole. Come on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. That one will probably. Break your record? I think so. Oh. Yeah, that, one. Of that one's definitely over 10. Okay, gear it up. Ten and three quarters. They're the new personal best for me. Should I rinse them? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That'd be my new personal best. It's a big gator. Yeah. Well, it's down, isn't it? Or you don't have a you don't have a bobber on, do you? It's 
off to the side. Yeah. Oh, that one. Cute one. Get this one? Yep. Oh, look at that. We'll get some good. These guys, these guys are packing up at exactly the wrong time. Okay, here's the deal. I kind of wall in Kyle's line over here, and uh, I missed one before, and his line was all snaked up around his bobber, so I handed over hand. I got a terrible mess, but we got another walleye. I'm gonna hide this one, Kyle. All right, wrapping up day two of Devil's Lake. We uh, we had pretty good tip-up action today. We each missed one on a jigging spoon. Everything was caught on a dead stick, though. So. Uh, live minnows, double minnows, treble hooks on the tip-ups, uh, the herring, and my nice uh, pike. So it was a good and bad day at the same time. So I'll wrap this one up and we'll get back on the ice out hopefully next week. What time is it? 9? 8.59. Power your phone. How do I dial? Get this over with. I can think of her number. Google has a pretty uh, good. Uh, you have one of those snaps quick though? No. Hi. What are you doing? Oh. I had to. Mine uh, slid conveniently right down the ice hole. I know. I was taking pictures and I put it on my bag inside. Like, no, it wasn't even close. I'm like, oh, there's a fish down there. I need to get a lure out. And I opened the cover and it slid across the ice just perfectly. And I, I saw it in the hole fluttering. I'm like, what is that? And as I reached to go grab it, it was out of reach. Oh my God. Yeah. No, so I'm gonna have to pay for a new one. Oh, I know, trust me. I've been sitting here with a <laughs> tummy ache. <laughs> 